Do you like Louis Fan? I like Louis Fan, or Su Wong Fan, as he's also known as. Now, do you want to watch an entertaining action movie? Well then, I've got just the right film for you. The last decade has not been kind for Louis Su Wong Fan. The man well known for the awesome Hong Kong action film The Story of Ricky, then spent two decades making more awesome Hong Kong action films until he starred in Ip Man 2. Then, with the exception of Kung Fu Jungle, everything went wrong. He started making awful mainland Chinese web movies. And last year was his worst year ever, with the shockingly bad Wolves Action 2 and the Taoist Master. But this movie, while not the best, is still f***ing awesome. Hi. I'm the Artie Dans from Asian Film Fans, and I think you should watch this film called One More Shot. Lewis plays a former bodyguard suffering PTSD after the murder of his wife by explosion. Relegated to the life of a handyman, he lives with his daughter who is suffering from the effects of the same explosion that killed his wife. After beating up some attempted at a bar, the woman he rescues makes him an offer to work at her company. Her company is pretty awesome. They've created a kind of exoskeleton suit, similar to Iron Man, that's almost indestructible, and she wants him to audition for the position of being the person in the suit. So he does, but the interview involves a kind of VR training, which then triggers his PTSD. At the same time this occurs, a group of terrorists infiltrate the company in an attempt to steal the suit technology. And as you can imagine, it's up to Lewis to save the day. And save the day he does. First up, this is a short and cheap web action movie, but with the exception of a few CGI effects, it doesn't really feel like that. The movie starts off with an incredibly violent yet action-packed introduction. Lewis is a bodyguard and his team are protecting a foreign businessman when a group of assassins attack. The opening 10 minutes is breathtaking. Gory shootouts in narrow corridors, meaty fighting scenes and an incredible stunt that involves them jumping out of a window onto a building walkover while more assassins attempt to kill them. I mean, I know this is all green screen effects, but it still looks pretty good for a low budget web movie. That's not to say it all makes sense. Logic is thrown out the window during this scene and getting a sense of the layout of the building is made even more confusing when I thought they'd open the door to the lobby only to end up 30 floors above and hanging out of the window. But it's an action film, who cares? What I did like was the fact that Lewis actually looks like he's having fun. This guy has one of those faces that makes him hard to read, but in this film, he just looks like he's going along with the flow and kicking all sorts of ass. What doesn't hurt this movie is the eye candy provided by Yi Yi Jung. Unless you remember her tiny part in the awesome Hu Guan film Mr. Six from 2015, you'll have no idea who she is. But she's just awesome as the scientist come love interest who convinces him to audition for the job as a suit operator. And while this movie is super fun and all, the issue is it's kind of missing something. The bad guys are suitably bad, and if you love Chinese web movies as much as I do, then you'll recognize some of the bad guys in this film, this Italian actor from Killer Bee Invasion and many other similar films. In fact, most of the supporting cast are web movie regulars that no doubt you'll recognize from other mindless action or monster films. But I mentioned there's something missing in the film, and that is any real tension. Sure, there's plenty of action scenes, and the whole concept of rescuing the hostages from terrorists is a tried and true action movie trope. But you'll probably notice something about three quarters of the way through the movie, and if you notice it, then rest assured that your assumption is correct. I'm being vague because I don't want to spoil the film, but the ending left me rather unsatisfied. So while I really enjoyed the film, it doesn't elevate itself too much above the usual web movie fare. The action was pretty top notch though, well choreographed including that pretty awesome claustrophobic elevator fight scene which I'd love to know how they filmed and how many times they did it. But it's not in the same level as its big budget brothers, the Operation Red Seas and the Wolf Warriors. If you're a fan of Lewis, then that's a bad joke. 
and a fan of low to medium budget action movies that make no sense but don't need to, then you can't go wrong with this title. One more shot. If you've seen it, what did you think? Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll catch you next time.